Hey, so this is a short video on admin SAML SSO for Zscaler private access. So here's the admin.private.zscaler.com. Log in here with my administrator account. Um, obviously, this is straight username and password on um, on the uh, admin portal. Um, but under my uh, IDP configuration, I've got my standard um, configuration here for um, my user um, single sign-on, but I've also created a separate um, Reliant Party Trust um, for admin SSO. Uh, in this case, it is the same identity provider, but I want to send different attributes potentially or control it differently on my um, uh, on my identity provider. So it's all set up. Um, here's my metadata URL. Here's the entity ID and everything. Um, and really, at the moment in, in Zscaler, all this is looking for is to, to be passed a name identifier um, to match an administrator account. So administrators, um, when they SSO in, the name ID needs to match a, um, a name ID, um, a, an admin ID to pick up the right role. So there's no auto provisioning of users. You have to have a user account or administrator account exists here. Um, and then if the two match, the name ID and the SAML assertion matches the uh, admin ID here, then they assume that role and they sign in. So when you create these users, you'd set them with no passwords. So they can't log in directly, but they can only log in via SSO. Okay, so that's the <coughs> excuse me, setup on, um, on Zscaler. Let's just take a look at how this looks on my, um, on my identity provider. So here I'm using um, ADFS. Um, and uh, let's take a look at this um, configuration. Now, what I've done to make this slightly simpler, um, I've turned off the monitoring of the Reliant Party and everything, um, although it was created with the metadata, and I've created a, a new identifier in here called ZPA Admin. That's just a short name that I'm gonna use instead of this, um, this full um, metadata URL, although the full metadata URL would, would still work. Um, and um, all it's really interesting in is when it signs in, it's going to post the the the, the response to to this this endpoint, um, nice and simple. And um, in the claims rule, it just says here's my name ID. Um, if we take a look at this rule, it pulls my user principal name as an LDAP attribute um, and sends it as the name ID in the outgoing claim. <coughs> so. Uh, the two things are all set up. Now what this means is that I can log out of here and I can say, well, I want to sign in using an, identify, uh, an IDP. Um, actually, what I put in here doesn't particularly matter because it's what's going to come in the um, response as long as it uh, identifies my, my domain. So I could put um, whatever I want in here at welshkey.net. And what it's going to do is going to trigger the sign in to my identify ID, IDP I've signed in um, into my IDP and I've re replied back and I'm and I'm signed in and I'm authenticated. And we can see here that I am M Ryan at WellSkeet.net. Now I was already signed into the IDP, so um, you didn't actually see the authentication process there. So let's um let's uh, do this. Let's sign out of here. And what I'll do is I'll go to adfs.welshkeet.net. I go to the IDP initiated sign on page, and what I'll do is I'll actually um, sign out of here, um, which it didn't particularly like because we don't do SLO, um, ADFS, let's go back to that page. And you can see I'm signed out of here, so it would uh, would challenge me on the next, the next one. Now, two things, so I have IDP initiated sign on capability, so I could go here and say um, private access admin SSO, click sign in, it's now doing the certificate authentication to my IDP, and I'm signed in. So IDP initiated sign on works with Zscaler private access. Um, but let's um, let's log out of there again and let's um, ADFS, let's go back to this, this page here and I want to sign out. I want to show you a different way of doing this. Um, and what we can do um, is you can provide this link. So this is the link to my ADFS server, uh, IDP initiated single sign, uh, IDP initiated sign on, query string, question mark, uh, login to RP equals, and then this is the um, the identifier. So we come back over to my IDP, 
um, the identifier is either the, um, the metadata URL or it's this short name that I've given it. So I could enter all of that, but that's a bit, bit cumbersome. So I've given it a nice short name of ZPA admin. So I click ZPA admin and I provide that as the link. It'll automatically hit the IDP. It'll load me in and it knows exactly which reliant party it wants to sign me into. And it'll send me over to um, Zscaler and sign me in. And there we go. We've made it even simpler for the user, um, for administrators that don't like to trigger a service provider initiated sign on or hit the IDP um, and select from a drop down. So we can make it as easy as possible for these administrators. They could save that as a, as a bookmark and, and all things would work nice and easy. So hope that works. Hope that helps. Thanks very much.